Hey, Shalini, what you doing? Hey, Mom. I'm just reading about the philosophical ideas of Isaac Newton. Oh, what page are you on? Uh, 756,000. That's radical. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Hey, guys. So today, you already know what time it is. We got crumble. Okay, so these are the flavors we're trying. Early in the morning, late at night. I'm so excited. All right, first up is s'mores. Mmm. Don't spill crumbs though. Oh no, it's soggy. Don't spill crumbs. Wait, just give me a piece. Ah, oh my god, <laughs> what was that? You just demoralized it. What does that even mean? Mmm. Mmm. Mid. That's so good. What do you rate it? Hurry. Four. Um, seven. Four. Okay, this one is berry cobbler. It looks kind of gross, but he said he won't try it because he's. I'm know, not trying I don't know what's that. that. Is it good? Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's actually really good, surprisingly. Try it. One out of ten. I'm not trying that. You won't catch like me. Like a six. Maybe like a seven. I forgot. Six and a half. Six point three. This one's chocolate cupcake. Whoa. Whoa. This one's chocolate cupcake, and this one is very, like, flaky. Like, it's very, like, eh. Mmm. <laughs> 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 It's so good. Why is it like that? The texture. Mm, not a fan. Right? What is that? Is it gas? Okay. No. Give me oh that. my gosh. Give me that cookie. Mm. No. This is different. Oh my gosh. That shit is different. Mm. I don't ever need to try that again in my life. This? What are, you, what are your final thoughts of this week? Uh, terrible week. Oh my gosh. Terrible week. Oh my gosh. The worst one I've seen so far. Since oh my I gosh. They were. I swear to God. Ooh. Crumble, bring back cake batter, bruh. Is it the last one that you like? That's not fair. Crumble, you know what? Fortnite. Go solo. Talking that bitch, I'm going solo. Walk you like a dog. Walk you like a dog. Walk you like a dog. to the base face network now pick it up and you're up gracefully like a lady girl be fucking rude gonna miss you in the morning when i see the sun something in the orange tells me we're not done Hammond, Hammond. All right, guys, so I actually know this one, and ladies, if you're watching, you don't know, I'm gonna show you. All right, guys, so I have my boyfriend here, for example. Can you please lay down on the bed, please? All right, guys, so you're gonna thank me for this. So, have your significant other lay down, right? You're gonna start standing up, okay? You're gonna start kind of back here, just wait. You'll be laying down soon, right? So, you look at them, you make eye contact, right? Hey guys, so it's currently 1.30 a.m. and I'm drinking coffee right now. I got a full cup and you know why? Because I have to pack in the next less than two hours. So for those of you that don't know, me and Jack are going to New York and the car is coming to pick us up at 3.15. So I have limited time. I have some clothes in the dryer and then this is what my bed looks like and my floor and everything else. So I need to, I, I've never, if I'm being so honest, I've never packed outside of living with my parents and my mom has always helped me. So um, I'm a little nervous, but first we're going to write a list. This is my list. It's a little long. Also, I have like a lot of new clothes that I bought and I have a lot of outfits in my head, but I haven't put them together yet. So I have to like try them on and then see if I like it and then pack it. Oh, fuck. Also, I don't know if I have a suitcase. Just kidding. I found one. Oh, yay. Let's start. Okay, so I went to Target and let me show the things that I got. Okay, so I did this just to make my life easier, but I got this bag for all of the stuff. And then I have bottles for shampoo and conditioner, body wash and razor, Tums, Tylenol, and toothpaste, and then wipes. But those are all... Oh, travel size. Also, my back hurts really bad for some reason, and it's like leading to my neck, and my neck is like in pain. Anyways, I took my contacts out, and now I'm packing this. This I got some really cute um, blazers. Okay, so I'm starting to pack basics, and I'm also starting to try stuff on. It's I already ripped my freaking tights three times. I'm gonna look like a prostitute. Okay, I took all my stuff out from the dryer, but look at this dress. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can't tell how cute it is, not on me, but I'm packing so many dresses, I think it's not going to be literally 50 degrees. But it doesn't really matter, because I've never been in New York before. So this is the one opportunity I get to 
pop out with my fits. All right, guys, we have like 40 minutes left, and this is all I have so far. It's kind of a lot, but it's only basic, so I have a lot more to do. I also don't know where all of my shit went, and the only time that I need to pack stuff is when I don't know where anything is. Guys, I deadass have fucking 20 minutes, and I can't fit anything else. Okay, but really quick, though, look at these shoes I got from Zara. Aren't they so cute? Okay, I ran out of space in my suitcase, so I'm starting to load my backpack. All right, guys, it's time to go. He's here. The car is here. Do I have everything that I need? Probably not. Is this suitcase under 50 pounds? Probably not, but... It's okay, because we're going to New York. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> you ghosted me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Check out this cool trick-or-treat bucket, though. Ooh. What's wrong? You ghosted me. Oh, I'm sorry. Check out this cool bucket, though. It's trick-or-treat theme. All right, guys, so this isn't sponsored at all, but I just got a crap ton of clothes from H&M, and I just want to show you guys what I got because oh, they're so cute. So this is the first thing that I got is this sweater. It's in the men's collection, I think, but I cut the neckline. Oh, tell me it isn't so cute. All right, first bag. So this isn't stuff that I'd usually wear, but I was like, you know what? It's getting kind of cold outside. I think it's time. This is something I already have, but... I got these leather pants. They're very leathery and they have like the outline thing. And then I got this suit. Okay, look, it's a matching set, right? So this one, it's pink on the top and then pink bottoms to match it. Look, I, would, I don't know where I'm gonna wear that to, but I'm gonna wear it. And then I got this sweater. It's super cute, kind of like off the shoulder. And I got this leather jacket. I love clothes. So this is like heaven for me. And then I got this bag. And then this crew neck is kind of similar to the one I'm wearing, but look at it. It's so cool. And it's so soft. Like, I don't know what material this is, but it's like, it's like a blanket. And then I got this hoodie. It's kind of brown, purplish, but right? Cute, cute. And then, oh my gosh, it's going too fast. And then I got these dresses. I never wear like dresses like these, but these are cute. Look, there's this sparkly one, right? And then there's this, like snake skin one cute cute and then look at this one it's like a leather long sleeve like and then i got this vest um and then i was thinking with this vest this long sleeve underneath it it's just a plain purple long sleeve shirt but cute cute and then i also got this button up i love any kind of button ups i think it's also a dress i don't know i don't know and then i got this shirt it's really like heavy too. And then I got, oh, this one is so cute, look. So that's my haul, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, but I love this one. They're all so cute. How about the car flexing like Sylvester? Sylvester. Hey. No, sir. No, just put up Bitch, we on two different things. I grind for the shit, I really been through the struggle. I'm out of there, I'm gone. Hey guys, I made an impulsive decision. I booked a plane ticket for tomorrow. It's currently 12 a.m. And I have to leave the house tomorrow at 6 a.m. So let me just show you guys my room really fast. Um, this was all, all for one shirt. And I found it and I, I have so much blush on because, okay, wait, this is crazy. This stuff's crazy. This stuff will change your life. But basically, I'm not trying to check in a whole bag. So I have to pack this bag, but I have obviously stuff in that bag. So I have to get rid of the bag and then pack a whole new bag for my carry-on. Also, I'm also testing because I'm also filming a YouTube video that I have to edit tomorrow on the plane so I can post tomorrow um, on YouTube. So this is what happens when you do nothing all day. Nothing. I did absolutely nothing all day. And then I went to get dinner and I ate until I fell asleep. And then I had to get up and work now. It's currently 1.30 and we're doing pretty good. Look at it. It's all rolled up looking nice. What the hell happened? What the, what the fuck? It's 3 a.m. But I'm going to bed now. I didn't pack, finish packing, but it's okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. guys so this day i woke up with the worst headache of my entire life but i was like no you know what i've been slacking on the gym i gotta go so i packed my gym bag and i went i had a little lift it was pretty good but i got back i showered and then i started getting ready for a dance 
For dance, I just did like a light makeup look. I just did some concealer, some blush, and then some highlight. I put way too much blush on though. I was looking a little, a little rosy, a little too rosy. But then I did my hair. I just kind of like fixed it after the gym. I kind of like blew it out a little bit. And then I didn't know what to wear. It was just like a hip hop class. So I just ended up wearing sweats and a hoodie. But guys, this deodorant is my favorite deodorant right now. It's by Secret. And when I say it lasts all day, it lasts all day. But I went, it was a pretty good class. I came back and I just get ready for my event. I didn't know what to wear, but my makeup was looking a little interesting. So I just did some touch ups and then I checked my shirt for any deodorant stains because I literally hate when I get white stuff on my clothes and there wasn't any. So then I went, it was pretty fun, but I came back with the worst food coma ever and I literally ended up on my floor just laying down so tired. But then I was like, you know what, I gotta go shower. But then I checked and I didn't smell, so.